Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. This week I have a really clever trick for you how to target the background image of a section or a row and apply an effect such as a blur effect or any of the other uh, filter effects in Divi. So the problem here is that in Divi, if you were to adjust the settings, right? Like I have here on the tutorial uh, in a screenshot, these settings here, when you're in the design tab in the filters toggle, if you were to like add some blur or literally any of these things, it's a pretty big problem. It affects the entire section or row. And so if you think like, oh, I'm gonna put a blur on a background image, no, it also affects any text or images or buttons or whatever modules you have in that section. So even though you're applying the effect to the section, I guess it kind of makes sense. It's not the result you're expecting. And so what's the solution? And today I have that. So here is a before, right? I have a, a background section. It's, I don't know, somebody gardening or whatever. And so you can see I have it labeled before and then I have an after and you can see the blur effect is only applied to you know the background image and not the text. See the text and the image are clear, okay? So that's the trick I'm showing you today in this tutorial. And while I'm here just to show you if I were to come into this section and adjust the like add a blur right here, you'll know what I'm talking about instantly. Like it gets to the point like if I had um, a 10 pixel blur, like you can barely even read the text, or even if it was just a little, it's affecting everything. Um, so that's the point here. So as I already showed you a little bit, you can click over to the written tutorial. I have that linked in the video description, but you can come over here and see the before and after, and then just follow along. You're going to need some code snippets from here. Now you may be thinking like, why not just um, target the background image with, with code, right? Uh, and that's a great idea um, and it's exactly what I tried to do and I've spent many hours trying to do that. Uh, the, the problem is, you know, if I were to do that, you know, maybe come in here and use the inspect tool and try to find the background, right? You can see, okay, here's a, here's a div that looks like it's adding the background image and um, you can play around with this and I've spent hours just trying to get it and it just would not work and I was thinking, what? what can be done like there's got to be a solution like that's in my nature i just have to find that solution um, and so i worked and worked on it and I, I was stuck and then i realized a really interesting trick so i remembered an old tutorial that we did about parallax effects and i remembered that when you enable the parallax effect in a background it adds a class that only targets the background so I thought, oh, that's interesting because it, it's used to apply that parallax effect. So it's literally a specific selector for the background image. And I was like, huh, how can I utilize that? And so that's what we're doing. And so uh, don't, don't freak out, but we have to enable parallax effect. But I'm also showing you how to disable it. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do this one thing at a time. So let's add our custom class in a while. So go to your section or row and add PA background filter like this. Okay, so over here, I'll, I'll go in here and do that. All right, so go over to the blue section or maybe in your row, open up the settings, go to the advanced tab, open the CSS ID and classes toggle. And right here, you're going to paste the class that we're using and it's right here. It's um, PA background filter. Okay, so we're using that as our custom class. And that's what you need to do in the actual Divi Builder. So wherever you want this effect, like a blur effect, we're gonna use a blur effect as our example. Wherever you want that, you would put that class in you know, the advanced tab in this CSS class field, okay? Now next, I, like I mentioned, enable the parallax effect. So, so sort of stick with me here. So let's, um, let's do that. You can see in the screenshot what you need to do. All right, so go in here to the section settings again to the background. Now click on the background image tab. Then here, enable this setting, use parallax effect. Um, you can see it immediately changes some things, but put it on true or no, sorry, put it on CSS. Okay, 
it's by default it's on true parallax but it needs to be on css because it adds a specific selector that we need so let's just put it on that all right so it's three things within the divi builder in the advanced tab you would put the the class and then in the background toggle here in the content tab you're you're clicking on here and enabling parallax and then setting this to css method okay so now you are done in the actual builder so the next step now oh, okay let me just clarify something you may want parallax and that's fine but the point is that's not really why you came for this tutorial we had to turn parallax on with a setting so that we get this selector it's actually called etpb parallax css it's pretty clever so now we have that selector available to us, right? Now we're going to use that selector to turn it off. And so, yeah, so we're going to copy this code. This is CSS. You can put it in your theme options. So here I am in Divi theme options. At the bottom, there's the CSS box. So I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to just save that now. So even though I have parallax enabled, it's not doing it. See how the, the background moves perfectly as I scroll. And that's, that's what we've essentially done. You can, you can read about it. Um, we've actually set the background attachment to inherit, which, which basically sets it back to um, what it should be, like, like its default, we'll say. And then the position we're saying back to the center, because if you don't do that, it's going to not be positioned the same. All I'm trying to do with this code is reset the parallax effect okay so essentially now you could say it's reset but i also now have a selector look at this we also have this with etpb parallax css selector and that is the key because now we can use that so let's go to the next step which is right here to add the CSS where we're adding the blur. Now we can do whatever we want with it. Take a look at this snippet. So we're targeting the PA background filter. And then look at this, ETPB parallax CSS. So now we're targeting just that image and we're saying filter. That's, remember they're called filters. Um, that's what they're called in CSS. So we're saying blur. And then here's the value of the blur. Now you can certainly increase or decrease that. Um, and then this is for Safari, um, but go ahead and copy that and you can actually go back to your theme options and play, paste it there. So these snippets will be together, save changes. So now watch when I refresh the page, see, notice the blur effect now is applied to the background image. It's not applied to the text, All right? And we could change it. If I change this to like two, you can see it a little bit. It's a little hard to see when it's that small. Oh, if I change it to like 20, you'll, you'll get the idea that it's changing. <laughs> there you go. And you can clearly see the text. It's, it's perfectly clear. So this is the only way to do this. I hope you enjoy this workaround. It's a pretty clever trick is what I'm calling it. And I, and I think it, it is. If you enjoy this kind of thing, I actually do a fair amount of this kind of stuff, like tricks and hacks and workarounds and things to do things in Divi. So if you are using Divi, you really should subscribe. Um, a lot of the people who comment and who watch my videos are not subscribed, but I'm not sure why, um, because I have hundreds, I'm not sure how many hundreds of videos right now, um, one every week, something about how to do something in Divi. So I would appreciate that. It actually helps my channel a lot. It helps me keep um, producing content like this. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.